Hey guys, I'm Bella, the Maker Mama Boss Lady behind Fiber and Fox, and this is kind of a special, special edition video, I guess, not my regular podcast, but um, if you're new here and you just stumbled across this, like I said, I am Bella. I am a crochet designer. I also knit a little bit, but I crochet by trade, I guess, um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about me in just a moment, but today I'm going to be talking about the best thing I ever did for my crochet business thus far, and I've been at it for a while. Um, so I just wanted to share some info with you, some resources and stuff you might be interested in if you are also a crochet boss or even a knit boss, um, but specifically the crochet community. I'm talking to you guys today, so stick with me, and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you about some awesome stuff that has revolutionized how I do the biz. I'm a crochet designer. I have been at this, the timeline's funky, but um, I think I started selling unofficially like as a side hustle um, just to keep myself busy in 2012-ish um, under the name Bella's Custom Crochets. So if you have seen any of that on the internet anywhere, that was me up until a couple months ago. Um, so Bella's Custom Crochets, I was selling finished items um, designing stuff myself, but not making patterns. So I was just winging it on all the stuff I was selling, selling at craft fairs, markets. I have a whole channel on selling handmade on here or whole playlist. Um, and then in 2018, I made my business official, got registered with like my state and tax and all of that, you know, important business stuff. Um, in 2019, when my daughter was born, quit my, um, day job, not because my business had replaced my income. And I will say upfront, I am not making a full-time income at this yet. And it has not replaced the income I left yet. Um, the ultimate goal for me was to be able to stay home with my daughter and have um, like a supplemental income. I would love to have a full-time full -time income and I'd love to be one of those people that's like, yeah, I employ my husband, yeah, and I provide for a whole family. Not there yet, but we're gonna get there. Um, but yes, thankfully um, we are able to rely on my husband's income. So I don't want to give anybody the idea that I'm making millions over here because I'm not yet. Um, but stuff is going well. And I want to tell you about some of the stuff that I've implemented to get me to this point. Uh, so like I said, 2019, I officially was not full-timing it, but as full-time as a mom with a newborn could um, under Bella's Custom Crochets. And then just this past April in, this is 2021 now, um, I switched over to Fiber and Fox and did a whole big rebrand because um, I just felt like that um, more encompassed what I was doing now, which is crochet designing. I have a blog as well. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel that I'm talking to you here on a podcast, um, and tutorials and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, this is this is my thing. I'm a stay-at-home mom with a uh, crochet business and this is not where I saw my life going, but I'm so glad that this is where God has put me and that I'm able to use something I'm obsessed with anyway. Like I'd be crocheting my hands off regardless. Um, so glad that I get to use that to make money and that I can make money at it. Um, and fun fact, if you want to have a crochet business, be it selling handmade or blogging or designing or kind of a combo, um, all of that stuff, you can make money at it. Um, and what I want to talk to you today about is Crochet Business Academy. Um, if you're not familiar with it, um, I want you to go look up Pam Grice, the Crochetpreneur. Don't leave my video, but as soon as you're done, all this stuff's going to be linked down below just so it's really easy for you to find. But Pam Grice, the Crochetpreneur, as someone that I had followed for a really long time, um, she's a pretty big voice in the... Um, handmade community, but especially crochet. Um, we don't have as many people who are a big voice as far as business type stuff. Um, I feel like there might be some for knitting, um, but there's a lot of like how to sell on Etsy, how to be a blogger. Um, but Pam was kind of the original, like how to be a crochet business and she's made six figures at it. So she knows what she's talking about. Um, so yeah, go look up Pam Grice if you are not already familiar. She is someone that I had followed for a long time and done some of her like webinars and like caught her at other online events as like a guest. Um, so I had known about her crochet business academy for a little bit. And like I said, she's kind of the original. I know there's a lot of people out there who have a crochet, whatever, insert, insert title about how to be a crochet boss. Um, but Pam was the first um, and she knows her stuff. She has a background in, I believe, psychotherapy um, counseling. Um, so her main thing is that she wants to take like the overwhelm out of um, trying to run a business and take the excuses out and all the I can'ts, I could never, there's no way, um, and make it accessible and make it a community and make you empowered to like do the stuff. 
um, and equip you and encourage you and kind of pick your brain as to why you think you can't and then tell you that you can. She's really good at all of that. Um, so as far as business coaching goes, she's really great. Um, so even if you just go read her blog or something, you're going to be in good hands. But I do want to talk to you about the Crochet Business Academy because, um, well, first of all, because I love it. I joined in January of 2021. I almost said 2016, <laughs> which was not true. January 2021. So this January. So I've been at it since like five months or so now. Um, and I'm about 70% through the main part of the course. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about it today because as we are speaking, um, in June of 2021, she is relaunching on a new platform, new and improved, new content, better layout, um, more navigatable. Is that a word? Um, yeah, so she's usually has like a wait list. So if you go to her website and sign up, um, there's usually a CBA crochet business Academy wait list. Um, cause she only takes on so many people at a time, um, just to make it manageable, um, and for the community and whatnot, but she is relaunching and, um, she's inviting new people to join. So I believe through June, I'm going to have the details down below. So if anything I say either confuses you or you want more details, or you just need to see it in writing down below, there's a link that's going to take you to all of Pam's info to all of the CBA stuff. Um, but I believe June 8th, she is reopening CBA for um, registration. And I believe she said it is closing June 12th. Um, and like I said, there's usually a wait list you can join if you've missed that and you've seen these dates in the future. She opens it up, I think, a couple times a year. But I joined in January and it's definitely, I will say, an investment. And I will tell you up front right now, I am an affiliate. So if you do click um, through and decide to take part in Crochet Business Academy through the link that I provide below, I will possibly get a kickback from it. But honestly, I... I'm here to make this video regardless of that. Like if you don't click a single one of my links, this will still make a huge difference in your business. And I really like, I'm serious. I believe in Pam and the resources that she has provided and the sense of community and just the sense of like, oh my goodness, there's other people who get this and do this and like are doing what I want to do, um, has been incredible. So worthwhile. Um, so I'm just going to give you, I have a lot of notes I'm probably going to reference. So if I look down, that's why. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of walk you through CBA as it is now. I've only seen a sneak preview of the new layout and the new website and the new, all the new perks. Um, but I'm going to give you to the best of my knowledge and understanding my info. And you can definitely go check out Pam's um, site for more info. Crochet Business Academy. What is it? Um, it's a business academy. It's all online. So anybody can join from anywhere. Um, and it's all, uh, you, you, it's a year subscription basically. So it's all at your own pace. So there's not like you need to be on zooms or class times or anything like in a traditional, um, online college type, um, deal. And it's definitely more than like a three-step webinar type thing. Um, it is a full, a full like course load, all these modules, basically the core of the system, um, of the program is something called the success roadmap, which is the thing that I'm, I'm most of the way through. Um, and keep in mind that once I joined CBA in January of this year, I've already been selling handmade. I had had a blog. I had had a YouTube. All this stuff had already been in place for me um, for a couple of years at least. Um, but I have still, even though I wasn't starting from scratch, and if you're starting from scratch, this is a great place to start because she's going to walk you through it all. Um, but even as somebody who had already had a website set up and already had a YouTube channel and already had made my Instagram and all that stuff and had kind of had like a foundation built, there was so much stuff that I was like, whoa, we need to backtrack and fix this. Um, so no matter where you're at in your crochet business journey, whether you have a business, you want to have a business, you have a kind of drowning business, you have a great business, like there's going to be stuff that applies to you. Um, so the success roadmap is broken down into modules and it's going to be even better in the new setup because she has it um, searchable now. Um, so the, my one complaint that I would say about CBA as it is at this moment when I'm recording this um, before the relaunch is that it can sometimes be hard to find what you're looking for. Like it's great. Obviously I'm going to go through all the course material, but if I'm sitting down, I'm like, Hey, the other day I had a question about how to make an opt out on my mailing list. So people could unsubscribe to like a specific, set of emails, but not my whole mailing list. And there wasn't really a good way to search through other than to go through each module, click down the little like drop downs and look for mail or light related content. But now she has it searchable. So you can go in and type in mail or light opt out or opt out. And, um, it's going to take you right to the content that you need, but this success, why do I have, a, I am not successful at saying success. Um, the roadmap, we're just going to call it the roadmap from now on. 
<laughs> is laid out. Um, so here are some of the modules as they are now. Um, and it really takes you through before you might think step one is like open your Etsy shop or step one is build your website, but she actually takes you through how to organize your business, how to find um, exactly your people and figure out who your people are because you can't sell to everybody. Everybody's not your people. And I'm definitely have been guilty of that. Like I will make all the things for all the people and they will all love me. No, they won't. That's not how the internet works. Um, <laughs> so she's very good at fine tuning who, where your niche is, who your people within that niche are, who are the people who are going to love what you're putting out there, be it products or content or patterns, um, who are the people that are going to come looking for you and come back and want to get your emails and want to purchase your stuff and want to support you and want to tell your, their friends about you and want to come to your events and whatever, whatever it is that you do, she's going to help you find your exact people, like really pinpointed down to like, even like searching like Google images to find an image of what you think this person looks like and how many kids they have and where they live and like what their favorite thing to watch on TV is and what magazines they subscribe, like really like actual building a person that is your person, um, which is something I had never done. So that was really, really cool and really, really helpful. Um, so she takes you through how to prepare, get organized, some like lots of resources as far as books and calendars and other stuff. Um, clarifying your direction as far as uh, your, um, your niche, your unique selling point, uh, your, your people, like I was talking about, um, how to legitimize your business as far as tax stuff, things you, you need to register. She doesn't have every, inf every bit of information for every state and every continent, but, um, definitely resources that will point you into like, Hey, if you're from Canada, go here, figure this out. Please make sure you're being legal. If you're from, I'm from Connecticut in the USA. Um, and I'd already had that stuff in place. So I did read through all of the modules, but um, there were some that I definitely went through faster than others. And then how to establish your presence online if you don't already have social media, or if you're not familiar with social media, or if you only have never used Pinterest, like how to set up all of that, how to attract your people as far as marketing and putting out content and not just being like, hey, here's my newsletter, buy my stuff, and then disappear. Because that doesn't work good. Um, how to nurture those people, how to diversify your income, because it is hard to just be like, I'm going to design patterns and I'm going to make six figures at designing patterns. Most people in the um, crochet or knit industry are not just doing one thing. So if you're going to be somebody that sells amigurumi, you're going to have to make a lot of amigurumi and your hands are going to be hurting real bad um, before you sell enough amigurumi to make a, you know, income of substantial amount. And even if, if you're not looking to make a full-time income and this is just like a side hustle thing for you, all of this will still apply. You want to be as legit as possible. How to diversify as far as am I going to blog? Am I going to do affiliate um, marketing? Am I going to do a YouTube channel to support like my patterns with tutorials? Am I going to uh, have sponsors? Like that sort of thing as far as diversifying income. And then how to automate processes and make as much of it run on its own. Um, without you having to check in daily on it. That's something I need to work on. Um, and then how to scale your business and figure out where you are now and grow it to where you want it to be. And all of this is supposed to be to have the business that you love, the business that you want to have, to take the overwhelm, to take the drudgery out of it. Because if you don't love it and it's burning you out, um, it's either not something for you or you're just doing it completely wrong. And it's probably the second one. Because um, if you love crocheting and your heart is to have a crochet business, either selling in person, selling online, blogging, all of the things that I listed. If that is your heart and you are passionate about that, either as a stay at home mom, you want a side income like me, or as somebody that really just wants to do this full time. Um, if you want to do it, you can. Um, and Pam is very much a believer in like, you can do this, get it done. Don't say that you can't, and we're here to help you. So there's, there's that core, um, success roadmap, but there's also a whole bunch more in the program. Um, there's all sorts of extra like bonuses and resources. This is just one example. Um, I printed it out. She didn't like send me the printed copy, but I, a PDF version of her productivity planner and it's, it's a chonking beast and you don't have to print the whole thing. And a lot of people only printed the sheets that they wanted and put them in a binder, but I printed the whole thing at Staples. Um, like, I don't want to show you anything too specific, but some examples of how to, um, come up with blog post ideas and checklists of that, um, collab trackers. You can see I haven't filled in all of these things. <laughs> Entire weekly goal breakdowns, monthly goal, quarterly goal, all the goals. Um, I have little tabs put on mine. 
all sorts of brainstorming, affiliate link info as far as companies you're working with, like brain dumps, daily schedules, weekly schedules, different ways of doing schedules. And this is just one one resource that's included. There's like a whole thing about the size of different um, graphics on social media and like the um, aspect ratios of stuff that you need, uh, how to be successful on Pinterest, email outline ideas, um, different all the different graphic sizes for like any sort of aspect ratio anywhere. This is just one resource. In addition to the course material, that main thing, um, there's stuff like and Etsy, I want to get these names right, Etsy Bootcamp, um, which walks you through how to have a successful Etsy shop. I think more geared, I haven't done this one yet because um, my Etsy's doing okay, but I will go back and do it eventually just to make sure. Um, but how to have a successful um, Etsy shop, um, probably geared more towards pattern, or not pattern, more towards finished item sales, but also to pattern sales. You want to make sure your bio is good. You want to make sure your photos are good. You want to make sure your descriptions are good, all of that. Etsy Bootcamp. Um, there is a blogging for makers, an Instagram bio challenge, a pattern writing. Um, so these are all separate little master and craft fairs, all separate little, um, like courses that you can take, um, that are all included in the, um, CBA, uh, Academy. I just said crochet business Academy Academy, like ATM machine. No. In addition to that, the way that she's going to break things down now, um, there's going to be a VIP, so a very important people of the Crochet Business Academy that's going to be all of the course stuff, and then an additional community. Um, and within the community, um, stuff that I have really loved is she does um, monthly Q&A sessions. So you can submit questions and we all get on Zoom and you can either just listen, you don't have to talk, you can turn off your camera if you don't want to be on camera, but um, we get together and we talk. Um, she does hot seat calls, which I've done one. Um, usually it's like you win a challenge or something and she picks some names um, from like a monthly challenge and then one or two makers get on and she kind of analyzes your business a little bit and the community gets on too and in the most loving, encouraging way possible kind of gives you like, okay, so these would be good next steps from where you are. So they went on and they looked at my website and Pam was like, oh, that link is going nowhere. And I was like, oh, we should, we should fix that. Um, and it was right before I rebranded. So they walked me through a lot of stuff that um, I could have polished up and it was really, really helpful. Um, definitely a vulnerable spot to be, but these are people who care and who are in the same boat. And I cannot tell you how refreshing it is to like, it just, you don't have to explain, Hey, I'm a crochet designer. Like people get that. These people get it. These are my people. And it's really refreshing. Um, so there's those hot seat calls. Um, there's a Facebook, a private Facebook group that I'm in daily. Um, and there's a lot of engagement in there and a lot of like, I can't even tell you how many times during that rebrand I just posted and I was like, I don't know how to do this. Somebody help me. And then they did. And, um, a lot of times Pam will chime in, but this, like the whole community jumps in and is like, Hey, I know how to do this. Hey, I've done this successfully. Hey, I didn't really like that platform, but it works for so-and-so. And then they tag so-and-so and they're like, Oh, I really actually like that. And here's how I did it. And it's just so incredible to not have to go hunt down somewhere like, how to set up an email list or how to add a ad program to your blog or like all the stuff that like the questions that you have, these people have answers because they're doing it and we're all at different stages and we all have different um, like niche areas and specialties and stuff that we focus on. So there's so much talent to draw from and it's amazing for the community alone. Please, please join us. It's incredible. Um, and then something I haven't fully utilized and I wish I could do more, um, is she does co-working groups, which if you're not familiar with co-working, which I had never heard of, um, it's basically like you pretend you have co-workers, <laughs> kind of the best way I can describe it, but she's broken it down and there's a couple different Facebook groups, um, with specific moderators. So she's not in each one of them, but there's, they're, they're mostly by like time zones. So I'm in like the Eastern, um, standard time one for the U S, um, but it doesn't work great for me because as soon as my toddler sees anything on camera or if I get out my laptop and turn on like a Zoom, like she is all over it. Um, so they do them through Facebook, not Zoom, because Zoom was giving them some issues. But so it's like five or six people or so um, show up daily from like eight to five their time zone. Um, and if you don't have a time zone that works for you, um, if you're not like eight to five, like there's someone in the UK who's in our Eastern Standard Time because it kind of works with her after work. It just... It all works out. So there's a group you can join. Um, but we get on a Facebook, what is it? Facebook video, Facebook chat. They're like chat rooms in video chat rooms within the crochet group. So you can get on any time of day um, and 
basically be like, hey, for the next hour, I'm going to work on this blog post. And then you turn off your mic and you turn off your camera if you want, but it's kind of nice to have your camera on because you pretend you're sitting in an office and you have to actually be working. Um, and yeah, co-working is it's really cool. I've done it a couple times and I would love to utilize it more. Maybe I need to join an out of my time zone one, like out of my work time zone because I usually work at night. I haven't thought of that until now. That was my stomach. It's also thinking. Even if you just have a question, want to pop on quick, or you just want to sit and be like, okay, I need to work without distraction and I need you guys to hold me to this. And if I come back in an hour and haven't got this done, please yell at me. Really cool. Um, so that's been an incredible resource. Um, there's also a bunch of master classes on topics that when Pam's not an expert, she finds an expert. Um, so we've had people come in and talk about Tailwind. We've had people talk about TikTok, Jump Rope, um, Pinterest, all manner of different things. Um, so there's a whole archive of master classes and she's constantly adding to that. And there's a whole section of tech um, toolkit, I think she calls it. Um, that's like video tutorials on like, okay, I'm more visual and I need to see how you set up this specific email opt-in or this funnel or how to create a pin and tailwind create or something. Um, very specific, like techie tutorials, um, does videos, screen shares, walks you through super easy. And you're like, Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Perfect. Um, yeah. And I think that's about it. There's probably going to be some more stuff that I didn't cover that's being added to the new, um, CBA. But as it is right now, the way that she has it set up is that there's this VIP tier where you um, will get all of the things. So you get the community, you get the coursework, you get all of the bonuses, all the Zoom calls, all the master classes, like everything. You get everything and you're part of the Facebook group and the chat and the community and you do the co-working, all of that. Whole deal. And I believe she's also sending out a box of presents now. I didn't get a box of presents. I would like a box of presents. Um, but I think for the VIP tier she is now doing, she will send you in the mail a box of physical, wonderful crochet boss goodies. Um, so I'm getting on that. But, um, if you're not interested in being in the community and you don't want to co-work and you don't really want to get your face on Zoom and maybe you just want to dip your toes into the course material, she has a separate tier for that too, because she didn't want people paying to be in this crochet, um, Facebook group and community and whatnot, if that wasn't something you were going to utilize. Um, and also it's better to have the group be a tight knit, um, group of people who actually want to engage, um, than to have it just be a whole bunch of people getting notifications and not doing anything, um, as far as the algorithm goes, um, within the group. So the people in there are going to be the people that want to be there and the people that want to be talking to you and you want to be talking to and have answers and want answers and have encouragement. So very excited about going forward that it's going to be a dedicated group of people who are like excited to be there. Um, but if you're not, if that's not for you and you're not looking for a community or maybe you already have a super com supportive community and you just want to do the coursework on your own time, you can do that too. So there's a separate tier for just the course, none of the Zoom calls, none of the um, community group, none of the box of goodies. Um, and like I said, everything is linked down below and I believe she will have it broken down into what um, the two tiers are and the pricing for both. It is an investment, um, but it has been such a worthy investment. I don't know if I said at the beginning, it's in my notes and I may have skipped over it, but I, um, passed my 2020 income. So all of 2020, um, when I was, that was the first year where I was really just focusing on pattern sales. The years before that I had done, um, finished objects and, uh, like doing markets and pattern sales combined. But my first year of just pattern sales, it was a pretty good year. I was pretty proud of it. I was pretty happy. Um, but I passed my 2020, 2020 income total in April of this year, implementing stuff from, um, CBA and just really putting myself out there as a pattern designer. <laughs> and I'm still learning and there's still so much I need to do. And I am horrible at Pinterest. So that is my next goal to master Pinterest. Um, cause my blog needs it, <laughs> but I am learning. I am sure no matter where you are at, you are learning and would love to be learning more. So if you are interested, click down below, go follow Pam, go check it out. And if you don't want to take my word for it, um, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to use my link. I'm not trying to push this on you as a sales pitch. I really, truly believe this is something helpful. If you want to grow your crochet business, if you want to be a crochet entrepreneur, a mom boss, a crochet boss, boss babe, whatever you want to call yourself. I call myself a maker mama boss lady, but whatever title you're looking for, you know, at whatever level that you're looking for, be it a full-time six figure income or just some pocket cash, 
Either way, um, Pam is going to guide you into having the business that you want and living the life that you are looking for and being happy about it and not being completely burnt out and having arthritis. Because I've done that method too. And it wasn't great. Um, so yeah, that's Crochet Business Academy. Thank you for sticking around with me and listening to me chat about it. If you have any questions, I'd love to try and answer them for you. Um, but more specific questions, Pam's your girl. Um, so yeah, Crochetpreneur. I believe she's the Crochetpreneur on Instagram. And I will link all of her everything down below here. So go check out CBA and yeah, go be a boss. Live your make a mama boss lady dreams. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys.